Hi guys! A lot of people ask me how I stay on schedule. That's a big thing because I do a lot of things, especially just like you. I use a specific app for that. Now, it's not just any kind of app. It's available in iOS and Android, but this app shows planetary schedule. So it's not just a regular scheduler, it aligns you. All right, Taurus, so let's start your reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so you're praying, you're manifesting someone or something new with the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. You're very focused, um, but you can also be focusing on school, work, or studies. High Priestess with the Ace of Wands. Um, let me see. Because this is normal, this, uh, this one um, shows uh, like. Because you're praying for something very important and there is a key right there. I'm not sure if it's about a new beginning because it's an Ace of Wands or you're really, you know, trying to um, pray, you know, for someone that you have a history. Because remember, the High Priestess goes to the Akashic Record like you had someone with history, like your past, okay, even past life. Uh -huh. So I guess some people can never get over, huh? Just saying. It's right here. So it's the path. So you probably cannot get over. You're probably in between getting over someone and being with someone new. Because mm. it's number two also. So you're in a crossroad to either finally letting go mm -hmm, of the past and then accepting this new offer or even the ace of one is just a new beginning in your life so you're torn high priestess looks like it's you know there's tears over here mm -hmm. like there can be some difference in beliefs also here you're also praying that this person opens up to you because i feel like you know it's like you're praying it's like why they're not talking to me anymore high priest is also um, in their quiet mode Mm -hmm. You're trying also to channel them, to, to talk to them in, in you know, what, what do you call it? Um, subconsciously in dreams like that. So heavily manifesting. You could have done something during the new moon. Mm -hmm. You're trying to connect to someone with the, in their dreams. Now the Ace of Wands here, um, this can be very lusty. High Priestess for me is Google. So you could be Googling them and trying to find out what they're doing. And then the Ace of Wands here, it's like there is this yearning desire to be in a relationship or to be like to be next to them. You want to feel the warmth of this person. See, I told you, you're in a crossroads, two of swords. Mm. So it's not even about a new person. You're just saying here that it's like, what do I do? Should I stay and wait for them to communicate? Should I stay and wait for the you know for this person to show up in my doorstep? Well, they can. It's social distancing. Okay? So I give you the answer to that. The government already says no. They're not coming to the doorstep. <laughs> Two of Swords with the Ace of Wands. Um, instead of making a decision, you're you've been holding on to your emotion for a very long time. Which means like you you have a stagnant energy, okay? The tower. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a person who, you know, it's like do whatever your karma is, and this is not connected to the reading. You know, and don't worry, 
Okay, it's just a little story time. But if I see you running like it's a marathon day today, okay, and we just frolicking around in this neighborhood when they say stay at home, okay? I know do your own karma, but you gotta stay home, folks. Is there is no marathon. <laughs> this neighborhood is bougie as if, you know, with their Lulu Lemon and jogging. Ay ay ay, these people I swear, instead of going inside. The Tower, Three of Swords, and the Temperance. Well, you know, watch for things that is moving in your home. I feel like there's going to be things moving at home. There is an entity inside your home. You probably need some cleansing. I just saw it. Oh, it's not in the cards. I just know. Um, when I say entity, do not be scared because, we, you know, they exist anyway. <laughs> so you just never see it. I just see it. There are things moving, shadows in, the, in, in, in your home, in your apartment, in your condo. I just see it here. Uh, so do some cleansing. They, they don't mean harm, but maybe you can use some cleansing. <laughs> um, and it's the home. It's not you. Okay? But normally, these entities get attracted to people who, um, who's in their weakest um, state. Because, you know, like your chakra is not aligned and they can like, totally make you even more sick and ill. So do some cleansing. Epsom salt, saging, and all these things. Um, now going back to the reading. So you might be connecting again as always, even though I don't want to connect to the Aries, but the Aries got the Three of Swords. It's so broken apart. Mm -hmm. And then the Temperance here is like, they could be trying to heal themselves here with the Temperance. They miss you. They long for you. Can be a Sag, can be a person far from you. But right now they're being patient. They're trying to nurture um, their own growth in their life. So this person is trying to be an individual right now. Mm -hmm. As much as I would like to throw shade, because we usually throw shade on the other side. That's the protocol. Mm -hmm. That's a protocol. <laughs> but sometimes it, we don't go to the protocol, yes. So this person um, is minding their own business right now and thinking positively while missing you. So you see, like they're hurting, but they're seeing, they're thinking, it's like maybe it's for the best, you know, that, you know, that we are separated already. You know, they know, you know, things happen fast between the two of you and then the tower just comes in, okay? Because there's a tree that they're nurturing and I feel like that's their own wand right there. Mm -hmm. And this is them missing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I swear, you know how those people is like, oh, let's go hiking. He's like, what is wrong with you guys? The government didn't send us on vacation, okay? Hiking, really? Shh, people. First world country, I swear, I swear. Okay, do your own karma, whatever, okay? <laughs> the full card and the sun card. Okay, this is good. This is very, very positive. Because I know you you're still want them. They're open for a constellation, the full card, and it's a yes with the sun card. Okay? So that's them coming, you know, energetically coming to you. They're open for it, but it doesn't mean that they're going to make a move. They're happy if they were able to hear some news from you. They will be excited. They will be excited. But we know once a fixed sign, always a fixed sign. Okay? This can be a Leo or a sun in Pisces. We're still in the Pisces. Uh, you know, this is sun in Pisces. The sun will not move until more, two more weeks in Pisces. Mm -hmm. So that's good news because you're manifesting them. Okay, and you're manifesting your healing, so keep doing that. Um, the sun is growth, so they're seeing that there can be potential growth again. But again, they're minding their own business right now. They're trying to um, heal themselves from uh, from this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, that's good. With the King of Swords can be an Aqua. Okay. So things will go better. Mm. Fret not, this is what the message is. They expect this whole thing, the breakup, to be over soon. Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords can be an Aquarian. Okay. 
Now, don't expect this person to be warm and cuddly if you guys come back together. No. I feel like they're just saying, it's like, well, if, they, if, it's, if the right thing is to come back together and resolve the situation, then they just want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if you say, like, well, we're not yet done, really. We have more, uh, how to say this, like, we can work this out, da-da-da. Then they're on the, they're on the, they're on the same page as, as you. Mm -hmm. So let them heal first. They're doing whatever that they have to do in their, their own karma. Okay, so follow me all the way to the extended preview, all the way to the end. Thank you very much, Taurus, for watching, and I'll see you guys again. Oh, make sure you download the app. It's down there. Bye, guys. It's called Align 27. Now, I'll show it to you there on your screen. You can see it there. It says Green Day, not the band. <laughs> so if you see here, if you read more, you click the read more, it will tell you what is the day about. What are the things that you can and cannot do? Big decisions, especially if you own a business, you're going to school, you have um, some sort of uh, work that you have a deadline. This is very, very powerful for that because it gives you the schedule. Now, it also gives you personal details of the planet and how it is affecting you. If you can see here, it says upcoming transit. You will see everything on a personal level, on your chart. I already put my chart here, so that's why it says there, John Doe. I'm going to be looking at Venus for now. It's going to give me my own personal reading for Venus. The first part up there that you are seeing, that's for you. And then it's going to give you all the helpful information as far as the transit for the whole period of time that Venus is going to be in that specific house. All this and more. This is the first part. So I'm just letting you know it gets more exciting. Make sure you click in the description box my affiliate link. And together we can plan ahead. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your April 1 to 7. Let's see what's going on in your chart. Okay, I already set it at April 7. Okay. Um, and right now, uh, this one is Mars is in Rohini. Ooh, the most favorite out of the uh, lunar houses. The favorite wife. Hello, Rohini. You know, the most uh, favored by the moon. Mm, interesting. It's a good. Uh, but I'm not sure how Mars in Rohini, though, is. Okay. Mm, let's see. I feel like it's uh, it can be a a feeling of oh yeah um, you know it's like you're getting it okay you're getting something as far as just you and then <clears throat> there is a little bit of um, if I get it then I have to do this. So there's an exchange, okay? So you get something, but you know you will have to put a lot of effort. Okay, that's what I can see here. Now let me see here. Got a seven ones, there is triumph. Okay, so that's triumph right there. Got that one, victory, but you're gonna get a lot of haters. You got, let's see that one? A lot, you know, like you climb up where you are, hey, you attract the evil eye. So meaning, you get a relationship, you got it, okay. You're favored by your partner, meaning meaning probably Venus is in good placement, meaning the gods has given it to you. However, it also comes with a price, and the price is there's a lot of suitors for this person that you're dealing with. Uh, people are drawn to them, so you're here, okay, not being able to sleep, okay, because there's a lot of wolves around the person that you're dealing with. So you get it, but now you have to do something, okay. You have to sign up like a police patrol over here, okay? So, how do you, I mean, like, I don't know. How do you sleep? Okay, so you probably won't have sleep here. Could be connecting with someone who's famous. Or just, they're just good looking and everybody's drawn to them. Okay? Because this is the blocking card, right? Hmm, what about that one? Three of Cups, and of course, let's be Mr. Friendly like an Aquarian energy. So you could be connecting with an Aquarius, um, probably Aquarius in their 10th house, okay? So just reverse that one, then it means they're going to be 
um, Pisces racing. Okay, so they're Pisces racing, and everybody's attracted to them. And then you're like, oh my God, it's like, it's like you know, it's like it's like a curse over here. It's like you know, um, you get something you know like a princess like or a prince like, but of course it comes with a lot of people around them. Um, and the thing is, this person is very friendly. Okay, uh, they do enjoy a good laugh. They do enjoy a good talk with their friends. Um, and chances are, this person is very, very, um, how to say this, um, uh, innocent with regards to like, don't you even know they're flirting with you already? And they're like, what do you mean? I was just talking. And all these people are already flirting. Mm -hmm. So you gotta watch for this person, meaning, you know, they're not cheating at all. They're just desirable. <laughs> they're just desirable, <laughs> like I was just saying. Yeah, King of Cups. Okay, so... They know that this person is like capable of giving love. You know, they love it. this person loves you. Uh -huh. Scorpio energy. So you have you have your Taurus, and then your this is your seventh house. So if you're, whoever you're dealing with, they love you. Okay, but whoever you're dealing with is desirable. Okay, by many, desired by many, of course, is Rohini, and then attraction-wise, jealousy comes with Rohini, and then the most uh, jealous nakshatra is Scorpio, Jeshta nakshatra. Um, there's also Mrigashira. Mrigashira is just discontent if it's a Gemini. Okay? Because they just want, it's like, well, I got this. So I don't feel like you have that. Okay? You don't have a Taurus Gemini. You settle. Meaning you like it, you take it, it's mine. However, this person with the King of Cups energy, um, either you get jealous or they, or they will get jealous with you. It comes, it comes with it. The evil eye, basically. People will get jealous. Regardless, both of you are not jealous. Around them is jealous. Mm-hmm. And four of swords energy here. So this person is just like, they're totally clueless, okay? They're clueless on how attractive they are. Um, normally, this is like a Gemini energy. When they're clueless, it's like a dumb dumb energy. It's like Gemini. Not that they're stupid, you know, but they're just a little bit ditzy, you know, a little bit easy to take advantage of because they're a baby. And, you know, they think that everybody's nice and good. So it's easy for this person to become um, taken advantage. So you're connecting with someone as um, innocent with regards to dating, um, innocent with regards to um, other people. And they always believe that there's, oh, you know, this person is good, this person is nice, you know. And then, because they sleep like a baby with a four of swords. And for you, it is like a headache. Okay, because six of swords is a headache. Okay. Six of Swords. So you might travel to see this person because you don't know what's going on around them and you want to declare it. It's like, no, oh, you and me, you're mine only, okay? And the Six of Swords is just like, I already put a lot of emotion here and I'm not going to lose this, okay? Vice versa for Cross Watcher. But this is my SMH card. You're, you're shaking your head over here um, because you're disappointed that this person, okay, can be so much into talking to other people and with regards to you you know for them it's always it's really like you know I love you and I care about you and then they don't talk about it anymore but with other people you see this person very very expressive okay they're good with their charisma okay so very very charismatic person um, and you can see um, this person's energy if, uh, charismatic wise then you can have a placement of Sun and Jupiter together okay and then this person is just like when they speak they speak like with, you know, with, uh, with, it's like they can joke around, you know, and make, you know, the Sun and Jupiter will be together and then it's going to be in their ascendant. And they will um, persuade people, you know. This is a person who you can just look at and talk to in this energy with the King of Cups energy here. So it can be a water sign, it can be a Pisces, it can be a Cancer or a Scorpio. But I would bank with a Scorpio and a Pisces, okay. Cancer would be a second bet over here, okay. And you're trying to ground the territory over here. You're trying really hard. Not, well, yeah, you're trying really hard, Seven of Wands, to make sure that nobody takes your piece of the pie, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. As we move with these energies, we're going to look at the situation more here and then the other person, and we'll see what is the possible outcome. Have a wonderful, wonderful um, April 1 to 7. I'll see you guys You again. have, um, how do you say this? Uh, you have given up. You've broken apart. You'll be happy. Look at that. You're very happy. And it comes to the chat. Mm -hmm. In the connection. But something's gonna give. 
So if you're being stressed to say sorry or they're being stressed to say sorry,